Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to see how to set up our first Appium test and mainly for that we need to understand the app package and app activity. This app package and app activity is so much essential for any application that you test in the mobile app. Let's start how to see this. Let's go to the agenda and first we will open the Android Studio and start AVD, Android Virtual Device Manager. If you go to the Android Studio and in the more actions, you will find the virtual device manager. When you open that, you will have the option to see all the devices that you have. If you don't have it, just click on the plus icon and download whichever the device you want. Here you can see under the phone, you will have multiple devices, but make sure based on your system, you should download only necessary things because if you have the minimum configuration, your system might hang for a few seconds. Then after having that device, you just go to the three dots and you should be having the cold boot because when you start directly the run button, it may give some error and closing the application mentioning saving state. So if you face that issue, try to start with cold boot. After starting, you will be having your device in front of you. Now let's go to the notes and try to understand the next step. Next, open the IntelliJ and create the Java Maven project with Appium dependency. Again, you will open the IntelliJ and if you create the Java project first time, just go to the file option, click on new and project and here you will be having the project name and probably you will choose the Java and Maven project and that's all. And after creating the project, you will go to the pom.xml and you will be adding this dependency group ID io.appium java client 9.1.0 version. So that is the version I am using. Remaining all things looks good for me and you will create the first class which can be first mobile test. When you create that, you will be having the UI automator two options because as we know that we are going to work in the Android device, we need to use the driver called UI automator two and we will be setting multiple options, set UD ID, unique ID, set app package, set app activity. We will be creating the Android driver, same like our web driver in web application testing, you will be creating the Android driver. When you create the Android driver, again, you need to give the URL and you need to give the option as the UI automator two options. Then obviously you will be using the web element to work on that, that we will come to that later. But however, till this point, we have used multiple things, right? Set UD ID, app package, app activity. How to find these parameters or these properties of the device. And this will be same or this will be the same process you could see for testing any application. That means any application, any device will have this inputs. We need to find that. How to find that? Again, go to the notes. So before starting this one, understand how to get app package and app activity. We need to do some things. The first one would be start Appium server. If you remember, we need to start the Appium server. Whenever we execute some client code, it should go to the Appium server. In order to do that, we need to have the Appium server in first place. Let's go to the terminal and start Appium. Just type Appium enter. Since we already installed in the previous videos Appium, it should be starting fine. Now here you can see the URLs already mentioned. So you don't need to find anywhere. Here you can see the client code can connect to this server 192.168.1.161.4723. So now it's very evident that we have used the same URL here. Now again coming to the Appium server, it is running fine. Now let's go to the next terminal. Open one more terminal and this is where we are going to find the app package and those things. So now before to that we will execute ADB devices. Already you can see there is a device is running here. So we need to find the ID for that ADB devices. Now here you can see the open device ID is emulator iPhone triple five four. Now again we will come here we can see emulator iPhone triple five four. Set UD ID has been set now. Now next one ADB shell. So that means that now we are connecting directly to the device by using the shell. So for that let me go here ADB shell. It is almost like your Node.js shell or let's say Python shell. Now we are inside our device. Now we are going to execute one more command dump sys window displays and we are going to filter out only for the current focus or focused app. That means that we are going to get the app package and app activity. So what is app package and app activity? To understand that one, let's go to this documentation which is from automationtestinghub.com and here you can see the clear information how to find the app package and app activity. I will be sharing this link. However, if you go directly to this link, if you don't have the read mode, you will be having multiple ads and it may distract you and you need to open an edge browser and click on this read mode. Then what happens is like you will be getting into the reading mode. So you will have only the content and the images. Now let's jump into directly to the definition app package in very basic terms. App package is the technical name of the app provided by its developers. We may tell WhatsApp, but there will be a technical name given by the developers. So that name is app package. 
or even you can consider like a Java package name. In our Java, we will have the packages, right? The same way, what is the higher level of package? That will be the app package. And app activity, again, it's a very basic term to differentiate the different functionalities provided by the app. For example, chat, you can put the status, you can put the chat, or you can just see the videos or news. There are different activities you can do. So for the different activities, there will be the different name. When you launch the application, which page or which activity you want to do, that has to be mentioned here. So this is the theoretical explanation, how to find that. So here we have seen two commands, current focus or focus tab. Either one of that we can use it. Now, in order to use that one, we need to make that device available, active and focused, which means you go to the app, mobile app or mobile device and click on this. Imagine I want to check the clock application. So now just scroll up and here you can see clock. I know the clock is the native application, but as of now, we are not going very detailed into the APK. Later point we can see, but as of now, just imagine I want to open this clock app. For this activity, I want to have these parameters. So to get that, I will be making this as a focused app or active app. Now, if I go to the device, sorry, if I go to the terminal, now I'm going to the terminal and executing the same command. Any one of this fine, let's take the last one and enter. Here you can see the focused app and this is the app package, which is com.google.android.desklock. This is the app package. App activity would be com.android.desklock, desklock. So this is our app activity. But make sure when you copy from the given website, you will be having some different single quotes which may create the problem. So make sure you copy a correct single quote or you update manually. Then after getting that, you will go to the IntelliJ. And here you can see, I just mentioned the same app package and app activity. Now go to the device and let's close all the things so that we will try whether it is opening or not. Now here you can see there are no device opened. Now I'm going to execute this one and parallel you can just open the device also both the things together and go to the home and execute this method. Again, we will go through it one by one. We have created the UI automator options because we are going to work with the Android device. So we have created the driver options or UI automator two options. Then we created the driver. In the driver, we have mentioned the APM server URL and we have passed the options that we created. And we have seen detailly where to get the UDID, where to get the app package, how to get the app package and app activity. Then we have just passed the options. And in this video, we are not going to interact with any element. We are just going to see whether it is opening or not. For this demo purpose, we have taken the app package and app activity for the clock application. And let's execute this. Now, here you can see it opened the clock application, waiting for some time, then it should be closing that. So probably I put driver.wait, so it's not necessary. I thought it will open for some time. If I don't have it, it will be automatically closing that. As you know, that final block will be exist. So it should be closed that application. Let's try more time and see the output. I'm closed the application. Again, if I click that, there is no recent apps. Let me see more time. It started execution though. Now this time it should be the clock. Let's see. Here you can see desk clock has been opened. It's closed and our test execution completed. Yes, so that's all for this video. So we just opened the application. In coming videos, we will see after opening the application, how to find the elements and what are the further activities we need to do. And this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud. Mm -hmm.